What is up guys, Karma Medic here and welcome back to another dose. Today is a very special day. It is the 11th of February, which marks exactly the halfway point in my degree studying medicine. In two and a half years from now, I'm gonna be starting my first job as an F1 doctor here in the UK, looking after patients and being responsible for them myself. Now, if the next two and a half years are gonna pass as quickly as the first two and a half years did, then that's a really scary thought. And as a celebration, as is tradition at King's, there's a halfway bowl that is hosted every single year. We're yeah. halfway to being doctors. <laughs> Anyways, that's later on in the evening and in the meantime, I have something important to discuss. This is the thing I am most scared of, something I am dreading. It is the USMLE step. One. If you don't know what the USMLE step one is, I don't blame you, most of you guys watching are from the UK, but basically it's the first of three exams that medical students have to take if they want to apply to residency positions in the United States. I wanna keep my options open and my doors open to be able to apply to residency positions in other countries as well. This is an eight hour long exam. No, you didn't hear that wrong. It is an eight hour long exam. It covers everything medicine related, both preclinical and clinical. So microbiology, pharmacology, pathology, physiology, histology, clinical, medical medicine, just everything. All this to say that I'm really scared and I'm sure this exam is gonna be hell to study for. Now I'm happier news, yesterday I posted this to my Instagram story. Hey guys, so I've just come home from a long day on clinical placement. It's currently 8 p.m. if you can see that, but guess why I came home to? <laughs> Look, I honestly, I can't, I can't believe this. I mean, it's just absolutely wild. A big thank you to you guys watching. All right, and without further ado, let's open this up. Da -da -da -da. It's so sober. Oh. oh my goodness. Oh, I cannot believe it. Look at that reflection, it's beautiful. You know what, I'm so excited. I'm gonna hang this up right now. I'm gonna hang it up here, right above my desk because I wanna be able to see it every single day when I'm studying. I want it to be in the background of my YouTube videos. I think it's a good spot. That is surreal. That is surreal. Anyways, I've rambled enough in this video. I'm gonna get a quick coffee and then start studying again for the USMLE. Apparently the best way to study for this exam is to have all the information in this one book. So for the first time in a very long time, I'm not gonna be using my iPad. I'm gonna go back to using my actual pens and pencils, which feels a little bit strange, but if that's the best way to do it, I'm willing to give it a try. So yeah, I'm just gonna sit down and have a really productive like three or four hour session and then have some lunch and we'll catch up in a bit. guys, I've been studying for a couple of hours now, so I'm gonna take a quick break to do some productive reading using the sponsor of today's video, Blinkist. As a medical student and YouTuber, I have a really busy schedule, so I find it quite difficult to fit in some reading time into my day. And one of the ways that I manage to get around this is using an app called Blinkist. The reason that I enjoy using Blinkist is that it condenses entire nonfiction books into just the most important points that you can either read or listen to in just five to 15 minutes. Blinkist is an app that I commonly use on the bus or on the train when commuting and it just feels good to know that I'm learning something new and I'm making use of that otherwise dead time. You guys can see that I'm currently working my way through a couple of books, emotional intelligence because I'm trying to access that side of my personality a little bit more and then how to break up with your phone is one that I started yesterday because I need to spend a little bit less time on my phone. Of course you can go to the explore page and find all kinds of different books that might suit you better or ones that you find interesting. The first 100 people to click on the link in the description down below are going to get unlimited access for one week to try it out and you'll also get 25% off if you want the full membership. The seven day trial is completely free and you guys can cancel it whenever you want. So if you're interested at all, click the link in the description down below and check it out for yourself. All right, now back to studying. All right guys, studying is all done for now. Get a close 
those only pens that I've opened and running with this whole time. I'm gonna make some lunch. Thankfully, I don't have to cook from scratch because me and my sister made food yesterday, so I'm just gonna heat that up and then watch it with an episode of something on the TV just to relax and unwind for a little bit. And then after that, I've still got a couple of things on my to-do list that I wanna complete today before I head out for the med school halfway bowl. There's nothing quite like getting dressed up and looking your sharpest. It should be a really fun evening. Closing this insane book for now, and uh, time to make some lunch. Just wanna check my hair real quick for the vlog. Yeah, looks good. So while this food heats up, I'm going to unload this absolutely packed dishwasher. I am so excited about tonight for a multitude of reasons. A, obviously, I'm halfway through medical school. That is a huge accomplishment in itself. A lot of the friends that I became close with over my first and second year are now placed in hospitals that are different to mine, far away from mine, and so I really don't get to see them that often. So yeah, long story short, I'm really excited to see everybody. So a few of us are gonna meet at a friend's house before the actual dinner, just to catch up a little bit more. Of course, I'm gonna take you along with me using this camera, show you around, and hopefully introduce you to a couple of people as well. I've got my chicken korma and rice over here, and then and just a small salad, just some rocket with cherry tomatoes. I'm going to set you guys down on this tripod here so that you can enjoy me enjoying my food with an episode of MasterChef Australia. Me and Alexia have been watching that show recently and it's just really fun and lighthearted, something easy to watch. So that's what I'm gonna throw on now. All right guys, so there's two more things that I have on my to-do list today before I head to this halfway bowl. One of which is to finish editing the video that's gonna go live this Thursday, so after tomorrow. The more pressing thing to do on my to-do list is that I need to rank my top 20 preferences for my clinical placements in years four and five. And it's possible that you get placed in hospitals outside of London all over the country here in England. You know what, let me just show you guys. Okay, so here is a zoomed in portion of England and within it is a zoomed in circle of London. So this is where my university is. It is at Guy's Hospital. Now for medical school years four and five, you can get placed in any one of these hospitals over here all over sort of Southeast England. So now the difficult task that we've been handed this week is that we need to rank our top 20 clinical line placements. I'll explain what that is now. So each one of these rows over here is a clinical placement line. You have blocks one through to four, which is year four of medical school, and then blocks five through to eight, which is year five of medical school. And there are 100 of these different lines. So I need to go through these 100 different lines and choose my top 20 preferences, rank them from one through to 20, and then submit. Check this out, I'm actually really proud of this. This is an Excel file now where I've highlighted all the hospitals that are too far and I would prefer not to go to. So any row that has no highlights in it is one where all the hospitals are within a reasonable distance from my home. Anyways, the day is passing and I still have some editing to do before Thursday's upload. So the video I'm uploading this Thursday is probably the biggest project that I've ever worked on. It is the vlog of Alexia and I in Paris. This is what the timeline looks like. You can see there are so many different different elements there. It's been an absolute monster of an edit. And I think it's already up by the time you're seeing this video. So if you haven't seen it yet, please do go check it out. I'll leave a link to it somewhere over here. All right guys, so I've managed to do a bunch of editing. I did all those amendments. Anyways, I'm also definitely running out of time. I need to get dressed and go. All right guys, so this is my tuxedo. I'm gonna show it to you guys. I'm really excited to wear this shirt. Sure. And that's the bow tie. Final touch, the jacket. And we're good to go.
Sisters. Just coming home. It has been one hell of a night. Honestly, I had so much fun and catching up with everyone was great. But it's late now and I've got things to do tomorrow. So I'm just gonna take off this tux, get in the shower, and then go straight to sleep. Thank you for following me throughout the day and watching this vlog. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like on this video and subscribe to my channel to see more content from me in the future. And I will see you in the next one. Peace. I know Scrubs, I know that you made all of those thumbnails. You've contributed so much to the channel and this plaque is for you too.